Welcome to another My Kids Locker Empathy Tale. This is Victoria Wilders, and we are going to be doing a new episode today. Uh, This is episode nine, and this one is called The Homeless Hill. I'm excited to be able to share this story with you. I shared this with my own kids on November 12th, 2018, as a bedtime story, and I hope that uh, you will enjoy it just as much as my kids did. If you'd like to connect with me, you can visit my website at mykidslocker.com. You can also listen to our podcast on Google Play as well as SoundCloud. And uh, there are going to be some upcoming resources on Teachers Pay Teachers as well as um, the the stories that I am sharing will be published eventually um, either through iBooks or Kindle or some other means, maybe Amazon, uh, but that's just in progress. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, um, I do want to start our story today. And our story um, is, uh, once again, episode nine, The Homeless Hill. And the quote we have today to reflect on is, I don't like being ignored, and I don't like being forgotten. And that was quoted by Cray Sean. Have you ever stood somewhere and seen the most beautiful view? I have. This summer I went for a hike called the Chain Lakes in Washington State in the United States of America. And these lakes are close to Mount Baker. They're actually on Mount Baker. This hike was amazing. There were mile-long waterfalls and snowpacks that fed glistening lakes. The trees were green and the jagged mountain cliffs were majestic. During my hike, I rarely looked down. It was always talking about the views and taking in the views. I wonder if we go through life and sometimes forget to be grateful for where we are right now. We are living, breathing, and we are in relationships with other people. This story is called The Homeless Hill, and it was inspired by that hike. And I hope that you can reflect on the last time you saw a beautiful view. And did you look down to be grateful for the spot you were standing on to give you that beautiful view? You will learn about a girl named Sapphire and her journey to listen to nature around her. She learned the value of appreciating a hill that many had have forgotten about. Today, choose to be grateful and thank someone in your life that loves you. They may actually be the person who feeds you, cares for you, and provides for you. Yet you may be so focused on other things and other views. Well, if we are comfortable and settled, I will begin. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was this small little hill that was surrounded by beautiful mountains. These mountains were covered in snow, and when the sun rose, they sparkled with the light that hit them in the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. They were known as the most majestic mountains throughout the kingdom. All day long, people would stand and look at these mountains. These are so glorious. There were waterfalls falling down these glorious mountains, Their beautiful colors of trees made villagers stand in awe. At the base of them, these mountains and all around everyone from local villages would always talk about these beautiful mountains and how glorious they were. They'd always say, oh, stand on the homeless hill to see see the beautiful mountains. So people from all over the place would stand on the small little mountain. The small little hill in the middle of these mountains was essential to see the most beautiful mountains throughout the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. There was a young girl named Sapphire who would always go to the top of this hill and she'd look around and she'd see the sun shining with beautiful blue skies. She'd see the birds flying, she'd hear the birds chirping and she would always be in awe of what a beautiful place she was in. One day, she heard the hill talking to her, and he said to her, I don't like being a hill, 
anymore. I'm done being here. I want to be a mountain. All those mountains surrounding me are big and majestic. I am not. There is no point for me to be a hill anymore. Sapphire was surprised and was taken back by the fact that this magical hill was talking to her. She said, Oh, homeless hill, you are such a beautiful creation. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to stand and look at these beautiful mountains around us. You've helped us look at this beautiful view. A tear rolled down her cheek. As, she, as years went by, the homeless hill, he'll, he, he never talked to her. Then it was the day of her 20th birthday. She stood on the hill and the sun was rising. The homeless hill talked to her again. He whispered, I don't like being a hill anymore. Sapphire now said, you have always been a place for my feet to stand, for grass to grow, for rabbits to hop, and for the wild animals like squirrels and the raccoons to wander over and around. I appreciate you. I am grateful for you, and you have helped me appreciate nature and helped me appreciate the beauty of our world around us. The homeless hill sadly sighed. I don't understand my purpose. I look around every single day, and I see these beautiful, majestic mountains, and I just don't see a purpose for me. Sapphire said, Oh, you have served more than a purpose and continue to serve so many people. I appreciate you. I am grateful for you. I love you. At that, she went down the hill. Several years passed. Sapphire Sapphire would continue to go up in the hill, but the homeless hill would never talk to her until one day she brought up a man that she had fallen in love with. And the man whispered, I have never seen such beautiful mountains. Look at the glaciers on the mountains. Look at the beautiful sun hitting them and how they are sparkling. Look at the beautiful sky and the birds and the sounds that you, you can hear. Look at the trees on these, on these mountains that surround us are gorgeous. She looked at him and gently replied, but what about the hill we're standing on? If it wasn't for the hill that we're standing on, we wouldn't be able to see these beautiful mountains. It would be very hard to be able to appreciate the beauty because just as at just at this angle, we can see the waterfalls. Just this angle, we can see the growth of the aspen trees climbing up the sides, the side of the cliffs. We have come here to celebrate not only this beauty, beautiful mountain and the beautiful mountains around it, but this hill that is under our feet. The man said, yes, I understand that you are grateful and you've appreciated. Girls, look at the animals and look at the wild flowers and the trees that are on this hill. He gently picked up a beautiful butterfly. He then shared the green grass and the beautiful delicate butterfly here and other insects that find find a home in this hill, his home, their home. He, she said, yes, I love this hill. Sapphire and her companion walked down the hill. Several years later, they came back up and they looked around. Sapphire hadn't been to the homeless hill for a long time. The man looked at her and said, do you miss your hill? She smiled and she shared calmly, I miss this view, but I miss my homeless hill the most. And she turned to, and he turned to her and said, we will build a house on this homeless hill and this will be a place where we will remember to be grateful but not only grateful for the view, but grateful for the soil under our feet and for the insects that lay on the grass that is so green and the trees that climb up and shade the animals from the heat. We are going to be grateful for the aspen that climb the rocky, jagged mountains and the glaciers and every single drop of water that leads them down to the waterfalls, waterfalls of splendor. We are going to be grateful for the fact that that they, that we are standing on the hill, on this hill. The homeless hill spoke again to Sapphire. 
I am grateful for you. You appreciated me and valued me. I'm always, I've always thought that I've been worth nothing, but today I feel valued and I feel appreciated. If it wasn't for your grateful heart, every appreciation, I would never, I would have never thought I would have been worth, worth much. Sapphire knelt down on the delicate bed of emerald green grass and pressed her hands into the beauty of her homeless hill. She whispered very closely, close to the homeless hill, You are not homeless anymore. You are our home. Today we will begin the process of building a beautiful home on top of this hill, and we will raise our family on this hill, and they will come to appreciate you. They will appreciate the mountains that surround you. If it wasn't for the soil that is underneath our feet, we wouldn't be able to see the beauty that we have around us. So we appreciate you. At that moment, the wind rustled, the trees and the sun shone brightly throughout the oak and eagle kingdom. At that very moment, there was peace, gratefulness, and appreciation that was sent throughout all the hills and all the mountains from the homeless hill. Sapphire continued to share her story with her children and grandchildren in the Oak and Eagle Kingdom. She was known to say, be still, and just look down to be grateful. Sometimes the most normal things are the most extraordinary. Well, thank you so much for listening to our Empathy Tale. This is uh, episode number nine, The Homeless Hill. This is Victoria Wolders. And if you want to connect with me, you can hunt me down on mykidslocker.com. Feel free to subscribe. Um, You can connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, Pinterest, Facebook. Um, I'd love to hear feedback on these stories and any insights or maybe any suggestions to stories. Love to hear that from you too. So connect with me. And uh, hopefully I will see you soon at the next Empathy Tale. And until then, remember, create compassion one story at a time. Thank you.